Tutorial 104 the angular dimensioning. Now it is time to make the angular dimensions. We learned in the previous tutorial how to make the linear dimensioning as we see here. Now let's go to the angular dimensioning. The next option here angular dimensions or from the insert dimensions and here you have the angular dimensions. So let's activate the angular dimensions. And again we have this menu. You can choose the direction of your dimensioning. So since we have a simple drawings here, so there will be not a lot of use of these types of dimensioning. We just can click any of them and here let's try to add an angle between two edges let's choose this edge this edge so we have our angle is shown here and again we can do it here let's choose this edge this edge so you have your angle 